Week 14 of the Madden franchise is here, guys. The 9-3 Vikings are playing the 3-9 Lions. Don't let the records deceive you. We played them earlier in the year at U.S. Bank. It took a game-winning field goal. If we know anything about Dan Campbell's Lions, they're going to be a very uh, frisky bunch. Now, before we get into the game, please drop a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Guys, I'm trying to hit 100 likes on a video. Right now, we're at 1,270 subscribers. Let's get that to 13. Uh, but, guys, without further ado, week 14, 100 likes. Week 14 is underway. A nice December game at Ford Field. NFC North Division. Lions could uh, really hurt us. Zero receptions for Justin Jefferson on the year. But the Lions could really hurt us if they come out with a win today. It's not going to be an easy game. Uh, one thing that is important to note. Jamison Williams, the star rookie receiver for the Lions, is out with a dislocated shoulder. That is their main injury, but we are underway. Greg Joseph should kick us off with a touchback to DJ Chark, and he does. Guys, thing is, we want to start out fast, physical, get off the field. We want to be on the field for five plays or less, and I don't mean a big play touchdown. We want to get off the field as quickly as we can. I'm going to be running a cover three to start the day, guys. We... Like I said, five plays or less. We just that's that's what we want to get off the field in. Should be a good start. And there we go. Good. We'll take oh, there was a four yard run. I gotta be honest. I thought it was a three yard run. But could have been a worse start defensively. We also are going to uh, we we had a pretty good game plan last week against the Jets. They did end up putting up seventeen points, but oh that's close to a first down. But there was only really 10 defensive points uh, because they had a, a good play on Kirk that resulted in a touchdown. I'm a little worried about this play, but we're going to send some heat. We're going to hope to get off the field here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Had him, and TJ Hawkinson makes a play on Harrison Smith, and they get a six-yard play for a first down. Guys are getting very fatigued at this point in the year. It's kind of actually... It, I mean, you guys can see it as a pain in the ass, but it's kind of cool that Madden factors that in in terms of the, in terms of the fatigue. Because guys do get gassed, especially mid-December. I mean, they guys, a lot of guys do want the year just to end by that time. I mean, not us because we're a nine and three team, but you know, a lot of guys do at the end. They're at the end of the year. They're just like, all right, like, look, I just want to get my get my last couple checks and get out of here. But guys, look, we're a nine and three team. We're the number one seed in the NFC. So no one on this team is thinking that. Oh, oh boy. Oh, this is not good. All right, there we go. We got third and six. Third and six, we are going to be sending heat. We need, this is where we need big Zedarius and big Daniil to get after the quarterback. This is where we need it. They're definitely passing here. There's no doubt I'm actually going to send Harrison Smith on a blitz. So I will use her cover. He's going to get it out to Swift here. At, yeah, underneath. Tough play. Um, the concept of that play, I sent Harrison Smith on the blitz. He either had Amon Ra right there, or he had DeAndre Swift in the flat for a check down. So I wanted to send some extra heat just to get after the quarterback. I knew if they called that play, that was going to happen. Risk, reward. Really all that is there. Uh, this five play get off the field did not work out the best. But Ben don't break. And they're obviously passing the football here, so... Nobody's coming in the middle. Nobody's coming in the middle. There's TJ for 14 yards. I think I'm going to run a little bit of man coverage here, switch it up a little bit. I might even double TJ because TJ is a, TJ is a problem. I mean, he is a problem. There we go. There's a good play by the, by the run defense by Eric Hendricks and Jordan Hicks. Teaming up on the tackle to get DeAndre Swift. And I am going to continue to uh, double-team TJ Hawkinson. Kendricks, good play, baby. I was a little nervous about that uh, because the one-on-one -on -one tackling has been kind of shaky this year at times, and that's kind of putting it mildly. Uh, but on third down, I am most definitely going to spotlight TJ Hawkinson. He's a very good tight end. He's caused us many problems. Uh, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? I mean, we were, it looks like we were right there. Like, we were right there. We could have just, what do we do? We just kept crashing. I don't know why we didn't think, oh, gee, maybe he's going to throw the ball right there on the Texas route out of the backfield, but whatever, man. All right, 7 nothing game. And that was like, a, what, a 10 play? 11 play, even better. Wonderful start, guys. I mean, come on. I mean, this is the definition of a trap game. Green Bay, by the way, 
the NFL gave them a nice gave them a nice cushy week 14 bye week. So Green Bay is off this week. So the best thing that could happen to them is oh, we get beat up in the process because we're playing this you know, we're playing this week. We didn't get a nice week 14 bye week and we lose an interconference game. So that's Green Bay just licking their chops hoping we hoping we lose this game. Anyway, not a good start, but we got down, by the way, I was looking at looking back at some videos. We got down 10 nothing against the Lions when they came to US Bank Stadium earlier in the year. So Dalvin Cook, 926 rushing yards on the year. He will hit 1000 at some point if he stays healthy, but Solid year for Dalvin. All right, so if you can see right here, nobody is on JJ there. You'd have to think they're going to drop into his zone coverage, um, but I'm going to be looking at JJ immediately. They actually have a linebacker on Jeff. What? What? I don't know how Anzalone got to the point there before Jefferson, um, but I was looking to get the ball to JJ because I thought there was absolutely no shot that Anzalone would get to that point before Jefferson would so I kind of threw it before Jefferson was even out of his break but there's Jefferson right there for a first down could play JJ JJ is having a hell of a year I hope it shows his season stats he I mean he is having a hell of a season now one thing we have been doing recently is getting Alexander Madison the football and let me know if you guys want to see an offseason not a full offseason video because we're obviously not there yet but and a video with kind of like what we're planning to do this offseason because it involves Alexander Madison quite a bit. It involves, I really haven't done a draft video yet, haven't included a lot of draft content, um, but I have been updating the big board in terms of prospects we're looking at, and I have a lot of big plans for the draft this year for us. There's a lot of guys I want to, guys I want to target, a lot of, and that includes offseason guys as well. Throw it away. Throw it away. Yep, nobody there. Nobody open. Um, I've forced too many passes this year that have not worked out. So I was fine, absolutely fine with throwing the ball away there. Besides, we're having, we're in Detroit territory. We're having a decent counter drive. But there's going to be some big, some very big uh, off-season plans. I'm kind of going to I'm going to kind of leave it at that. All right, let's go here. Third and eight. Big play. Big play. Oh, nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And she, I think that's going to be a gain of one. No, it's a sack. All right, so now we have fourth and nine. I don't want to kick a 60-yard field goal. Honestly, I'm going to go for it. I, I don't want to really pin them deep, you know, at the, at the four-yard line or and even that's kind of a risk in itself because it might be just a 23-yard punt. So I'm going to go for it here. You know, we we're, we need to win this game. There's JJ got caught up in the route. All right. Um, Jefferson would have been open, but he rubbed KJ Osborne on that play. So that's that's why if, if it looked like absolutely nobody was open, that's why. Right here. Everybody's underneath. Everybody's underneath. Guys, we got to get home. There's so much time. I mean, that's when I was discussing the offseason plans right there, uh, that type of play right there where golf has four or five seconds where everybody is has their guy on lock and we just we can't get home. Run, 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 run to the right, run to the right. Good play. Good play, fellas. Third and eight. I mean, this is this is a play right here. This is a perfect a pitch perfect example of what I mean when I say that we have to get off the field, we are bringing in Andrew Booth into the game. Uh, but this is a perfect example of what I mean here, regardless of what happens. This is what I mean when I say, like, we have to get off the field here. We're third and eight. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, good play. We're off. I just didn't like how much time there is. I mean, Daniil doesn't get any sort of pass rush. Zedarius is another player that will be brought up in the off-season moves. Going to kind of leave it at that. But at least we are getting the ball back. By the way, I stick with us going for it on fourth down there. Just get out of bounds. Just get out of bounds, can I? All right, we got the ball at the 18-yard line. No big deal. Kirk had a hell of a game last week, by the way. He had, you know, completed the passes at 95% rate. Um, I do want to say we are still going to try to establish the run. Always love establishing the run. Um, but Dalvin has not been playing great recently. 
one yard gain three rushes five yards on the day for dalvin i might try and do a little screenplay to him here if possible 33 yards for the vikings to detroit 77 oh that should be oh boy nowhere to go nowhere to go i just want to get out of bounds make it third and five and that will be the final play of the first quarter all right we are back second quarter about to start um i don't want to say this first down like we need to get this first down like our game is completely over if we don't but it's definitely preferred if we get this first down which we do could play adam it's a gain of 11 we seem to get kirk in a little bit of a rhythm there i was right on jeff okuda could play adam but i am actually very very excited for the offseason i don't want to look too far ahead um because we are a 9-3 and three team right now. But I am very excited for some of the moves that we're going to be making. Second and 10 on our 33. Uh, let's see here. I kind of This is either boom or bust play. We're going to go with the inside zone. See if we can split a gap. Good. Oh, I thought we almost did. All right, so third and eight. All right. Back-to-back -back long third downs. Well, third and five wasn't too long of a third down, but would prefer the third downs to be a hair shorter. But look, if you're going to be a championship team like we have hopes to be, you got to be able to convert on third down. That's all there is to it. Good play. I think he... No, he got it. Let's go. Good play, JJ. What a play. You love to see that. What a play by Justin Jefferson there. Now, I do want to slow it down here. I do want to... Uh, Run the ball out of the single back here. Just give it off to Alexander Madison. First down on the Lions, 37. Solid run. Good play by Josh Pascal, but a five-yard run. Not before Alexander Madison gets five yards. Oh, I like this here. I like this concept here. When Whenever you... Whenever you line everybody up as close as this is, it, I mean, it just stresses defenses out, especially if they're running a man coverage concept out of this. All it does is just stress defenses out. Get there, Dalvin. Get a little bit. All right, now we have third and four. All right, let's go here. Now we got a bunch of guys on the other side. Oh, I love this. I love everybody going to one side, and then you have Irv Smith just hitting a drag route on the other side because, like I said, it just stresses defenses out. Having that many guys... And there's Jefferson wide open because they're running a zone coverage. And he just drops right in. And now we have the ball down to their 11-yard line. So you love to see that. Jefferson, three catches, 67 yards, looking for another 100-yard game. And by the way, I will do a video on like stats and everything, league leaders, that whole thing. Because we haven't really went over that a lot. Um, remember, guys, this is my first Madden franchise. And there are going to be some tweaks and some bugs. I don't think that's a big thing. Um, but I'm sure that is something people will want to know. And that is third and five. Okay. There wasn't really anywhere to go in that play. Besides, I don't mind occasionally switching it up and running three or four straight plays under center. A lot of quarterbacks coming up today don't run the ball out of center. They're, they're just so used to the shotgun. JJ is... Gets the first down, but not quite a touchdown. Okay, so Kirk, after a 1-for-4 start, is now 6-of-9. Nice for 87 yards. Justin Jefferson has four of those receptions. Let's see here. I'm going to run an inside zone right to Dalvin. And right walks right in. We're going to hit Dalvin. We're going to hit a spike. We're going to hit a spike. Hit the spike, Dalvin. Let's go. And that was a hell of a... That, that was an 82-yard drive. I want to see how long this drive was. I, Madden, I just need the plays. How many plays? 13 plays. That's what I'm talking about. You love to see that. Greg Joseph will kick a touchback. So let's fast forward to the Vikings being on defense. All right. We are back on defense now. Everybody out. Most definitely running a passing play here. Unless they run a quarterback draw with Jared Goff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kendricks fell down. Kendricks fell down. Oh, Chandon Sullivan. Here's your chance. And it's out of bounds. Good breakup. All right. I was a little stressed out there on that play, I gotta be honest. Because I was like, oh boy, like if he goes under to Hawkinson and Kendricks doesn't like trip him up, that's probably gonna be a 10 or 15 yard gain. But guys, we have the momentum chance right here to really take a 
Good play, Andrew. I don't think he was going to get his feet in anyway, but good play. Good play, guys. This is what I'm talking about. I like what I'm seeing, guys. I'm actually going to bring in Lewis Seen on a blitz here, so I'm going to user cam Dantzler. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? They got nowhere to go, and we got to make that play. Let's go. We're off the field. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We have the momentum shifting now. Let's go. Now, what I would like to do, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. However, I'm going to at least discuss what I'm thinking. We have four minutes left in the half. Definitely no fakes at this part of the field. Um, I'd like to take about a three and a half minute drive and, uh, you know, get a touchdown, make it 14-7 at a half. And then, of course, we get the ball back to start the second half. So I would really like a nice three minute three minute 20 second drive give them the ball back with like maybe 25 seconds that is the plan heading into this drive we're gonna start with a nice healthy run to alexander madison good not really good but okay three yard run madison now with 20 yards on the day we have been splitting the carries between him and dalvin cook if you guys if you guys haven't picked that up might might be a hint at something in the future might not be but uh we have been splitting Dalvin Cook catches the ball for an 11-yard gain. First down. I will say Dalvin is, I mean, it's not even close how much better of a receiving back he is than Alexander. Um, but the carries are not, like we said, they're not that they're not that different. All right. We got a potential big shot here. Potential big shot here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Thielen. Can we cut it underneath? Come back. What a play by Thielen. What a catch by Adam Thielen there. I knew it was going to be tough. I was trying to uh, draw him. I was trying to throw it underneath because if I would have lobbed that, then the safety would have just came right up and just intercepted. It just stepped right in front. So I was trying to throw it on a line and have Adam just come back right in front like he did. I knew it was going to be a 50-50 ball, but Adam won the jump ball, but... We're going to kind of disregard that two-yard loss by Alexander Madison there. And we're going to have second and 12 on the Lions' 33-yard line after the two-minute warning. All right, let's go, guys. This is big here. We could knock on wood, but, you know, a lot of things are going to plan so far. And, of course, we knocked on wood as we said that. All right, now we're going to have – this is exactly what we want. Good. They don't take a timeout. We have third and six. Exactly what we want. Pressure was getting there that time, but Kirk got rid of the ball. He threw a good, accurate pass under pressure, things you love to see. Well, Kirk throwing a good ball under pressure. You don't really like to see him under pressure. You get what I'm saying. Let's go. Definitely definitely want to take a little bit of time off the clock. I want to hit JJ so bad, but I'll hit KJ there for a first down. Good play, KJ. We got him exactly where we want him. Plenty of time. Kirk now averaging more than 10 yards in attempt. I tell you, KJ, KJ hasn't played... As big of a role as I'm sure some people would have liked to see this year, but he's came through with some really, really timely catches, and I mean that in the best way. There's another one, hopefully. Good catch, KJ. Second and four. Less than a minute to play. KJ's a little winded now, so I will take him out of the game. Put in Jalen Reger. And I like having Jalen Reger on the team, especially from a depth standpoint. You know, the thing is, is Reger's obviously never going to be the player that was drafted in front of him. That's fine. Now we're going to take a timeout because we have first and goal. Um, I'm not going to risk a play here. I'm not going to try and get it up to save, you know, five or ten seconds. We're going to take a timeout. First and goal from the six-yard line. Drive going, like I said, knock on wood, but almost exactly to plan. Now, JJ's running an option route here. Irv Smith's running right up the seam. They have two high safeties. I'm going to see if Irv can drop right in. But low, Anzalone, the linebacker who just lifted his hand. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure where I'm pointing, but you'll see here. Irv ultimately did not. Oh, boy. Uh, throw it away. Might have had Irv, but I wasn't wasn't going to risk that on all Madden when Kirk might have threw it five yards. So definitely not worth the risk there. Besides, we've ran 30 first half plays. We are playing solid football. We're going to run the hand, hand the ball here. Hand the, ah, shoot. That was not what we wanted at all. We're going to take a timeout here. That was not what we wanted. I was hoping that we could get up there and get up there and get a you know couple yards before third and goal. Um, the big thing here that I, I truly worry about is 
I don't want to throw a red zone interception. So that is always... Thielen's right there, guys. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Good play. Let's go. What's Adam's stance? He had a backflip one game earlier in the season. He had a backflip against Miami, which was certainly something. Um, but look, three guys right there. Kirk makes the throw. We'll take that. 14-7 game. Another good drive. 11 plays, 67 yards. We got a 13 play and an 11 play drive, so we'll take that every time. And we have the momentum now. And we get the ball to start the second half. Lions coming out in a shotgun. This is kind of weird to me. I'm surprised. I mean, I'm assuming they're running the ball here. Okay, they are. But I was just a little surprised by that. So they're going to take a timeout and actually try and throw this thing. Oh, a Hail Mary. Pro tip on Hail Mary, always send that fourth guy because Eric Hendricks is not going to make a play on the ball. So just send the fourth guy. Ooh. Ooh, Harrison almost got there. We might pick that. Ooh. God, oh, I wanted Harrison to intercept that so bad because he would have had some room to run. Nothing probably would have came out of that, um, but Harrison did have room to run. 37 plays to their 18. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about, and we get the ball first. All right, we are coming out in the second half. We have 182 yards to their 87, so... At a point earlier in the game, they had 77 yards to hour 33. The tables have most certainly turned, and there's a good six-yard run by Alex Madison to start the drive. We're going to bring in Dalvin Cook now. I like having both guys that we can just lean on, get a couple yards when we need it. Here's Dalvin now. Dalvin's turn, and Dalvin's going to get us to a third and one. Although, Dalvin's only, he's averaging less than two yards a carry today, so we would like to see that jump up a little bit from Dalvin but we are we're, we're gonna start off the second half here with three straight runs three straight runs Dalvin more than gets it good play Dalvin now he's up to more than two yards of carry now so good run there and we we're going to incorporate Kene Wangwu into the passing game so you love to see that oh he's got blockers he has blockers I mean let him let him develop let him develop oh that was bad Wanted Ingram to pick up a block. We only got four. We could have had a hell of a lot more. It's fine. I mean, you can't really complain about a four-yard gain. Could have been a lot more. It was a good play call. Just could have been a lot more. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And that's Aiden Hutchinson's second sack of the day, which, I mean, it. they obviously are sacks. I'm not saying they don't count as sacks, but... Both of his sacks were exactly like that, where I kind of just stepped right up into him. So I hope that, I guess in theory, that does go on Christian Darisol, but that's that's really ticky-tacky. Like, that's not a true, especially when Irv Smith's right there. Boom, baby, we'll take that. Now we're down to the Lions' 39-yard line. We're going to go back to under center. I mean, I'm, we are running the ball not great, but efficiently. You know, we're doing enough. Look at TJ Ham take Aiden Hutchinson out of the play right there on the left side. That's what I'm talking about. 15 yards for Dalvin Cook. Leave him in the game long enough, he's going to make plays. I love, by the way, I love doing that from a, from a coaching decision where I take Dalvin out of the game for a couple plays and then bring him back in because it's like the defense is, you know, a little more wore down by the time Dalvin gets back in. So I, <clears throat> I bring in Alexander for a couple plays, bring in Kenny Wangwu for a couple plays. And then Dalvin's, you know, he's fully energized defense, you know, at like 65, 70% energy level. Pro tip, absolutely love, love doing that. Good run by Alexander. Guys, we are we are running the ball down their throats now. I mean, they they are having a tough time stopping it. I'm just going to, we're just going to go back to back right now. Left side with CJ Ham, Darisol, Ezra, even Bradbury. That's awesome in there. We're just going to run the ball and say, we are stronger than you. Good, there we go. Eight more yards. I mean, this is ground and pound right now he doesn't he doesn't coach for the team anymore but Mike Zimmer would be proud of this now they have everybody stacked so I'm going to try and throw the ball here I actually don't love this I kind of want to take a timeout just to get out of this I'm not going to but there we go that's why baby let's go JJ touchdown hit the gritty hit it hit it no maybe not all right whatever hell of a drive and I, that was over half the quarter 
I don't know how many plays that was, but that was one of the best drives we've had all year. All year. 15? 11. Okay, 11. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself there, but that was a hell of a drive, guys. Because that's... That, you know, you, you hear the term far too often, you know, because guys like to get ahead of the terms and everything in real life, but, you know, take the will out of a team, that that's a type of drive that does that. You know, backs against the wall to make it not a two-score game for Detroit in the third quarter at home. That's the type of drive that does that. So, absolutely fantastic drive. And I want to say our plays ran now are like 47 to like 19. Love that. And even an incomplete pass. So Jared Goff is now completing his passes at a less than 50% rate. He's 5 for 12 on the day. We have all the momentum. I love what we're doing here, guys. Second and 10. I've had Ross Blacklock play inside the days above Frank Ragnall, the center right now. Is that a first down? Oh, it is. All right. These are the situations where I want to, never mind, I was going to say double team TJ, but it's a hell of a run right there by DeAndre Swift. So now they have the ball in our territory. So Detroit, definitely in typical Dan Campbell spirit, not going to go down without a fight. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, please. Thank you, Pat. Five yard run. All right, let's go here. A little cover, one action, play action. Nope, run, just a straight up run. And I think he got the first. I think he fell forward. Third and inches. All right, we're going to send heat here. I, I want to get off the field here. Like, I desperately want to get off the field here. Are we going to? I don't know, but I desperately want to get off the field, and we ultimately did not get off the field. That's why I spy like TJ every time. Because he is the ultimate just like, oh, let's throw it to TJ when times get tough. The positive thing is, is they have to score the ball twice. Play action. Come on, guys. They're going to hit TJ right across the middle. No, they're not. Oh, wow. I thought Goff was going to come off that play action at one of those guys coming across the left side to the right side in, in uh, mid-stride, but he didn't. Kendricks, oh, another missed tackle. You love to see that. There's been about 15 of those this year. Where Kendricks goes right through the gap, only for the running back, whether it's DeAndre Swift or the third string guy in the worst team in the NFL, to just bounce right off him. You love seeing that. Harrison, get back a little bit. No pass rush. Oh, another broken tackle. Yes, you love seeing that one as well. Or at least it's fourth and one. I would say they are, they are going to have to go for it at this point. We're lining up double way gap. We're blitzing. We're, make no mistake about it. We are blitzing here. This is a boom or bust play on our part. Oh, shocking. We didn't get the boom. Although we kind of fell backwards, but obviously forward progression. This is, by the way, I, was, I spoke in the offseason part a little bit earlier in the video. This is definitely something that I've been frustrated with for quite a while. Just quite a while, and I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. First down. They're not quite in our red zone. Very close, though. Oh, Andrew! Out of bounds. Out of bounds from... That would have been an interception, and that definitely... I don't want to say would have sealed the game because we would have had to milk some clock, but that would have looked very good for entering the fourth quarter. Oh, that's a misread by myself. Oh, Kenny Willickis, what a play. Kenny Willickis was in for Daniil Hunter that play because uh, this is a very long drive, so Daniil's a little... A little winded, so I brought in Kenny Willickis. And we have 48 plays to their 31, so we love to see that. Uh, but we do want to get off the field, like, now. And I did I did let Daniil Hunter get a couple plays, uh, couple plays rest. That way we could, that way he, could, he would be at full strength for this play, although I don't really think it matters. Good play, Pat, even though it was out of bounds. Are they going to go for this? Okay, so I think this is a questionable decision to kick the field goal to still make it a two-possession game in the fourth quarter. But corner overall has been solid this year. I mean, there's definitely been times where, you know, Pat Pete's got mossed Deontay Brown down for the Lions. 
Um, but corner overall has been pretty solid, and the overalls are not that great at corner. I want to say our highest is like an 80, maybe. But Andrew Booth has been coming to his own. He's been getting his extra XP every single week. Same with Lewis Seen. Lewis Seen is also coming into his own. He had a hell of a week last week. All right, now we're back out. Guys, I mean, they only have 144 yards of offense. I mean, we're in the fourth quarter. And, I mean, they are they just they can't move the ball. Well, they really, I mean, they just haven't, sorry, they just had a pretty good drive. But they haven't moved the ball that well. I'll kind of leave it at that. And, you know, we're playing pretty solid offensively. You know, we're not kicking their ass. Like, you know, on the scoreboard at least, but we are playing solid offensively. Good run by Madison. Good timely run. 11 yards when we needed it most. Good play, Alex. Hit the gap. Perfect first down because that takes all that does right there. Tick, tick, tick. That takes just more time off the clock. And now we are less than nine to play. Now we're definitely going for a touchdown this drive. Like I don't want to... I don't want to go up 24-10 with like five minutes to play. Like I want it to be a three-score game, and I don't want them to even think. Good run, Dalvin. Good play. Really good play. 15 yards. Dalvin's up to 60 yards on the day. Closing in on another 1,000-yard year for Mr. Cook. For the chef. Oh, boy. We are going to be less than eight minutes after this play. Another good run, another great run. Dalvin, Dalvin, good play. Keep it going. Now up to 79 yards on the day. You know, Dalvin, there's been times where I've been upset with him. I'm definitely going to take him out. He's definitely winded after that run. Um, but back-to-back -back great runs when we needed it. And now we have the ball pretty well into Lions territory. It's just kind of the same thing right here with what we're doing. I mean, we are just running the ball and they can't stop it. You know, obviously there would be people that would be like, you know, what are we paying Kirk all this money for to just hand the ball to Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison? But, I mean, guys, it's working. I mean, Aiden Hutchinson missed a tackle there. Shout out to Madden for letting us get a play. But Dalvin Cook back in. I alluded to this last drive where I like taking Dalvin out for a couple plays and bringing him back in at full, full stamina. This is exactly what I mean. Third and inches. Big play here, because if we get this third down, I'm going to let the clock tick a little bit. If we get this third down, it takes another two minutes off the clock. So very, very big play, and we have our running back at full stamina. Oh, good play by Anzalone. Really good play by Alex Anzalone. Damn, he wrapped him up and just drove. Good play. We're not we're not going to, no. Actually, I don't know. Points are tempting here. Nah, F, I almost said straight up F that, but we're going for it. We're going to same same play. If you can stop us. We're going to make you stop us twice. Really, what is a field goal here? We, we we want you to have to score on us twice, so we're going right. Same play. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Good stop by the Lions. Credit where it's due. You could argue that it was a questionable decision to call the same play two times in a row. But we took a lot of time off the clock, and they still have to, Remember, guys, they still have to score two touchdowns. And they're actually going to run the ball here. So, six yards on the first play. When you take 30 seconds off the clock and you have, I mean, like I said, that's that is our that's our bread and butter. You, you want to run six yards for that? We'll take that every time. Even eight yards or whatever that is. We'll take that every time. Eight yards for another 30 seconds. Jared Goff still doesn't have 100 yards passing on the day. Still completing his passes at less than 50%. We'll take that every single time. Less than five to play. They only have 150 yards of total offense all day. Oh, and missed tackle by Daniel Hunter. Wonderful. Uh, that's that's not what we want. I, I mean, that's a play right there where I've been a little frustrated with Daniel this year because it's, it's things like that where he gets off the block, makes a hell of an initial play, and then it's just like, nope, can't finish. It's been frustrating all year. I mean, this isn't just something that came up. That's a good play right there by Jordan Hicks. That's a great play. And by the way, I know there's probably people that wanted me to kick the field goal, but I mean, we're less than four to play. They have the ball at our 42 yard line. There's, you know what I mean? Like they, they mess around and just, you know, BS around. I mean, look, look, 10 seconds on the clock. Absolutely no reason for that. 
And, and Goff misses that throw by a mile. So now we're less than three. You know, we have 326 to play when this ball is going to be snapped. And they're still at hour 42. I mean, guys, they have to... I mean, technically, they don't have to get a touchdown because they could kick a field goal and then try and go for two, get a touchdown and go for two. But, I mean, this is not smart football. I think they got the first. Okay, they got the first. So what? You know, it's... Like I said, they, they are just messing around and messing around. All right, here we go. Let's. I mean, it's going to be less than 10 seconds on this clock before they even snap this ball. Sorry, 11. All right, there we go. Now six yards. We'll take it. Keep going. Keep going, Dan. Keep messing around, Mr. Campbell. Keep going, MCDC. Keep messing around, buddy. We'll take this all day. 215. Tick, tick, tick. I mean, we're up double digits here. This is a, That might even be a pick. And that is. I mean, that's that's honestly what the Lions get for messing around. I'm actually just going to fall down. I mean, that that's what they get for messing around as much as they were. I mean, that is absolutely atrocious clock management there. Good pick by Andrew Booth, by the way. Atrocious clock management. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just more so commenting on it, but still. Oh, I thought Alexander, because they're definitely going for the sh strip the ball out at this point. So I am going to bring Dalvin back into the game. Um, but, two-minute warning, by the way. But that's that's why I didn't have a problem going for it earlier. Because I knew that, you know, they were going to come down here, mess around, have, you know... 10, 11 seconds on the play clock every time. Good play by Dalvin. Way to get the first down. And we are... The game's pretty much over, but we're just like one more first down from officially sealing it. 153 rushing yards today. Great job up front, guys. Really great job. All right, I might actually throw the ball here. I'm actually... You know what? I'm actually going to... I'm going to infinity IQ this and call a screen. I'm actually going to... Saw that safety come down on the other side, so I want to reverse the play. Or flip the play, rather. They have one timeout. A minute 50 on the clock. Oh, wow. Good play. Who was that? I mean, well, it didn't come up because of the timeout, but really great play there. So they have three sacks on the day. They're definitely going to send heat here. No, they're not. Wow, okay. Did Irv get that first down? Oh, fourth and one. Oh, man, I want to go for two. Or go for it here. We went for it earlier. Nah, I'm not going to do that again. Not in our territory. I don't want to give them any sort of momentum. Besides, we can... I'm just going to take a quick drink. Fast forward to when we punt the ball. But yeah, I, I didn't want to give them any sort of chance for momentum. Rather give them the ball at the 20. I mean, the game... In a lot of ways, it's over as it is. So I was just like, let the defense go out there, run a couple plays. It's Is it really going to... I don't think that's going to uh, impact the final game too much. Like I think we're still going to win. It's not the end here. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how the defense played. I don't know why they faked that RPO or whatever they wanted to call what that was. Cam Dantzler, can we actually end the game? No, incomplete pass. So... Pass rush hasn't been there, more so this is a coverage game. Um, to Neil Hunter, kind of another disappointing effort, hate to say it. I know he's going against Panay Sewell over on the right side, but still. I'm going to user Ross Blacklock here. Oh, really fake this out there, Jared. I didn't know if you guys were going to run the ball there. Oh, shit. That kind of happens, TJ Hawkinson. He's a great player, it is what it is. Uh, it's also unfortunate that he got out of bounds, by the way. Because that just stopped the clock. Because that would have been another 15 seconds off the play clock. Boy, this is just such like such a Dan Campbell thing. Like, oh, we're going to. Guys, please. Oh, my goodness. I mean, there is no pass rush at all. You know what? I might user Kendricks this play. And just see if I can get after the passer myself. Or actually, I might use Harrison. User Harrison here. There we go. Right. That's the exact play that we wanted. See, I think if they were smart, they would just kick the field goal here. Just, like, just stop everybody and just kick the field goal. Oh, shit, that's what happens. Never mind. So what happened there was we were... That's on me because what happened... We switched the play last second. So what happened was guys were switching. I should, probably should have called a timeout, admittedly. That's on me. 
Pass rush. Appreciate it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> we caught a break there, but this pisses me off that where this that 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 happened. I mean, that's on me in a lot of ways. But hands team one time. Thielen, KJ, Irv, somebody make a play. KJ, all right, Alexander. There we go. Ball game. All right, 21 16, 10 and 3. We'll take it. We're a game ahead in the north. Uh, we're going to use one Kirk Cousins kneel down. And we will walk out of the Motor City. Not escape because we did we did dominate that game a lot. That last touchdown shouldn't have happened. But back to back games, we held teams to 17 and 16 points. 2 0. We'll take it. Would have liked to have seen more points today, but. It is what it is. Can't complain with the win. We'll take it. 10-3 and three on the year. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this today, please consider dropping a like. Subscribing to the channel would be very much appreciated. Can't wait to keep going in the Madden franchise. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. But until next time, as always, please be safe and have a great day. Love you guys.